Welcome back, everybody, to our playthrough of Angband 4.1.3. I was at work, and while at work, all I could think was, I kind of want to get home and play this game. So I want to play this game. I also used some time at work when I had some spare time to peruse the uh, the manual, the PDF of the manual. So I've learned a bit more about this game. I'm going to try and put some of that into play right now. The very first thing we're going to do, let's look at our equipment. We are wielding a dagger, but we are shooting nothing. So you can equip uh, a bow or something simultaneous with a with a dagger. Let's do that right now. Let's wield as well our short bow. Um, so we're now wielding a dagger and shooting a short bow. This may imply you no longer have to swap between a melee weapon and a missile weapon to fire. I don't know. We're going to find out, I guess. We have... It says, should say something about a quiver somewhere. Um, well, we'll find out shortly, won't we? Um, we'll meet the next thing. We'll try shooting at it and see what happens. I can see in quiver 40 missiles, 17 missiles. I don't know how that works. I don't know if we have actually have to assign something to a quiver or what. We are blessed. You can see that down here. I forgot about that. So we have some bonuses from that. I think our AC and our uh, to hit have gone up. I also want to try pressing a button. We tried pressing a lot in, in uh, Moria to get things to work, and it didn't always work. Let's try pressing it now and see if I've grasped this or not. Pressing the equal sign. Okay, so there are there is an option menu right here where you can set certain things. We are not going to modify the gameplay in any way. I'm not going to make it so suddenly we can sell stuff in the town, although I think you can do that. Um, we're certainly not going to put on any cheat options or anything of that nature. Um, what I want to look at is uh, some of the base options that might help us uh, enjoy the game a little more that without, without, without alterating the game. Let's try user interface options first of all. I'm going to press enter. Uh, we're not using the roguelike. Let's keep using what we're doing. Here's what we want to fix for sure. Use sound. Let's try pressing right. I pressed right on the little arrow key and you can see it says yes. So hopefully we'll start hearing some sound effects now. We could do this. Uh, this would actually show us, you know, when you hit, instead of saying you hit the monster, it'll say you hit for six damage. I don't know if it's necessary right now. It might be information overload given that there is now a health bar that we can see go down. We don't need to know the specific da data. But if you like that, you can turn it on. Um... Always pick up on now. Show flavors. Uh, this, this if you turn it on, for instance, we found those green potions that turned out to be Cure Light Wound potions. If we find them in the future, it'll tell us it's a Cure Light Wound potion. But if you wanted to put this on, it would tell you it's a Cure Light Wound potion and that it's a green potion. So you can have the, basically the memory and the visual of here's what it looks like. Uh, for our purposes, I don't see any real need for that. But if you wanted to, you can. Highlight player with cursor? No, that's fine. That would make a little cursor flash underneath the at sign. I know where the at sign is. I'm not worried about that. This is already set. This changes the way the, the walls look. So instead of being uh, hashtags, they would appear as solid walls. This would make them look like solid blocks, colored blocks with like a percent sign or a hashtag on it. So it would look a bit more, I don't know, fleshed out if you wanted to. But I'm fine with it as it is right now. This is kind of interesting. Color, illuminate torch light in yellow. Let's try putting that on for now, see if you like it. I also definitely want this. Color, shimmer, multicolored things. Um, when there are monsters that are multicolored, um, they will flicker. I remember having this on before, and it, it saved my ass a few times, because some monsters like ancient multi-hued dragons were very visibly so. Um, so that'll save us a bit. Let's put that on. I might try this as well. Do we want to try this? Center map continuously. Let's try putting it on. You'll see the difference right away. Show unique monsters in purple. Uh, we, we met Grip. We met Fang. Those were uniques. They were um, hero-type monsters. There is one of them only in the game. We will never meet Grip or Fang again as long as we are playing as Sir Gorston the Paladin. If we created a new character, we might run into Grip or Fang again. Um, but they'll never come back. They're one-of-a-kind monsters and usually quite tough. Grip, I, I, having just watched that video, was, was listed in yellow. He's a yellow C. But no monsters are ever listed in purple. If you turn this on, all unique monsters will always appear in purple. I think I'm going to do that. Because it'll help us identify uniques immediately. It might also save us. Automatically clear more prompts. I'm not going to do this, but how many times have we complained about this in Moria? If it starts to bug us again, we will we will do so. Notify an object recharge. Um, that would tell you if you if you had a, uh, an item that can only be used every so often, it'll tell you, hey, it's it's ready to be used again. Won't put it on for now because we don't have any items that do that. But after we start playing with um with it, we will. Uh, experiment, perhaps. This last one, uh, your speed is listed as, you know, speed 0, that means normal, speed 1, speed 2, up to speed like 38 or 40 or something. Um, 
if you put this on, it'll be instead it'll be like your speed is like one point six or something. It'll it'll give you a ratio to let you know how much faster you are than the base, rather than this abstract sort of number. Um, I don't know. I don't think we need to do that right now. Let's let's keep this. This is really all I wanted to do was was turn these few things on. I'm gonna hit escape. Okay. I don't think we're gonna mess with any of the rest of this. We could we could mess with the windows and shit. We don't want to do that. The last thing I might do eventually is um. You can change the keys. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's got complete key bindings. That's great. Um, there is a way. I'm not going to do it right now. There is a way to uh, set up so that uh, you can change what letters represent certain th monsters and such. I might do that with the funguses, the molds, because that little comma is very hard to differentiate from the periods in my experience here. And you should be able to see it. Uh, I'm not sure how to do that offhand right now. I'm not going to do it right now. But uh, we may do it later. Um, you can see our torch light illuminated in yellow. Apparently that little period ahead of us is yellow. Let's see if we like this or not. Oh, we heard something. The prayer has expired. Okay, there you go. I, I assume you heard that. I don't see why you wouldn't. If you didn't, then haha, I'm hearing things you aren't. We're going to pick up these scrolls by accident right now. Oh well. Let's uh, go in a corner and dump this. Do we need to dump this? We won't do it yet. Let's hold on to it for now. Uh, let's switch to our shovel. There is a way, for sure. It mentioned, you hear that too. It mentioned in the rules as well that there is a way to swap between weapons. So we could potentially. I like the sound effects. Oh, I'm hungry. Oops, B. Um, so we could potentially. Let me, let me, why am I sitting in the least ergonomic way possible? I was fucking doing a contortionist act using this keyboard. There, that's better. Um, whoops. What the hell was I saying? We could... Oh, I didn't I didn't even notice, but look at this, what's also going on. You'll see the map is now moving around us. Rather than having us walk off the edge, we are always centered. We can't center right now completely because if you look to the left, that's the left-hand edge of the map. I can tell because those hashtags are a little bit different color. If the sounds get a little too annoying, we'll uh, let me look and see how how good that is for you. The problem is I can't I can't monitor this as it goes. You know, I'll have to switch to the screen. We're gonna when we bump into this guy, I'm gonna bump into this guy and really quickly switch to the OBS Studio and see what the meter is saying. Ah, uh. <laughs> I need a longer sound effect. When we get to another door, we'll check it. Oh, fuck, there was a nice long sound effect. I remember that sound effect, man. That came back to me. Okay. I'm going to open this door, and as soon as I do, I'm going to look at the meter just so I can tell if this is a good enough uh, sound volume. I didn't do it fast enough. Something went wrong with my dex my actual Jeff dexterity, not the character dexterity. Oh, fuck, what did that say? You hear a sudden stirring, and this is a horn blast sound. Well, you think that'd have a sound effect for that, don't you? All right, let me get to uh, another door. Now, oh, fuck. Okay, we're ready. Let's hope it's a nice long sound effect. Oops. It's not even registering here. I'm going to turn the volume up. It may not sound for you. I don't know. Maybe maybe because we're doing a desktop recording, it may not. You may not hear anything. I'm going to leave it like that for the rest of this video, and I'll I'll actually test it in between, and we'll find out if. Uh, if it's so loud that you're annoyed or or not. Also going to note the time. We've been playing for about four minutes, five minutes, let's say. Let's go till, uh, fuck, what is it? It was 6.45 when I started this, let's say. Uh, so let's go to 7.15-ish. Let's also use our... Green worm mass dead. We can learn a little about it. Oh, I shouldn't. That's, that's a little ballsy of me. It moves slowly, but then again, so do we for the moment. Armor rating of 3, an average life rating of 15. I have a 93% chance to hit. It's worth 0.86 experience. Uh, it can crawl on me to shoot acid. Acid can damage my uh, some of my inventory items permanently, so we want to be a little careful about that. Maybe I'll take a torch. Even though it's weighing me down more. Let's take bolts. It's for crossbow. They're magical crossbow bolts. Forgot to shoot, by the way. I'm just going to be slow for a while. I don't want to ditch anything else right now. 
Nice triangular room. All right, let's go. Go. Oops. Can't fast walk through this. I actually got to do this manually. Let's uh, switch back to our. Oh fuck, we are still using our stupid pick. I didn't even think of that. Our shovel. Wield. Let's get our dagger back out. All right, we got four holy books of prayers. I don't know if it's overkill. Maybe I won't even. I'm gonna ditch some of them back in town. When we go back to town, we're gonna ditch a bunch of them in our. Uh, oops. I press B for browse. Um, that is, by the way, if you press B, you can look and see what the spells are. And we can toggle the description with pressing question mark. We have these two spells we haven't done. Plus 5 to armor class and plus 10 to hit. We should cast those soon to get the experience bonus. What are we looking at? Uh, let's look in the right hand window. Get used to that instead of uh, constantly looking. It's an apprentice. We know what that does. And a soldier who's asleep. I'm going to turn it down on my ears. It's definitely loud in my ears. If I can find the right dial to do that. Let's try shooting this guy. Is it F for fire? I have no ammunition to fire. How do I quiver stuff? Equip. On the right hand, left hand, neck, body. I don't see anything about quiver. Oh, for quiver, press this. Uh, that's shift and the one... The one above the backward slash. Let's quiver... Oh, we don't have any arrows. <laughs> we got a bunch of shit for slings and a bunch of shit for crossbow bolts. Or, yeah, crossbows. So I guess we can't do this yet. We'll buy some arrows when we go back to town. Getting good money, man. What are we on? We're at 150 feet. Alright, let's... Go this way. I need to figure out that switch command. My dagger back. Let's look at our uh, equipment again. Sorry, I just want to see. What can I learn about this? If I press enter. I press enter on the dagger. So I'm getting 1.6 blows per round. If I got an extra strength, we'd get 2.3 blows per round. Or an extra 2 dexterity, we'd get 2 blows. Um, the higher your strength and dexterity, you can get more blows per round. Also, actually, it's a fight higher your fighting ability, but your fighting ability is is uh, modified by your character class, by possibly your race. I don't know, um, by your character level, and by um, we don't know anything about this guy, except for he belongs on this level. Let's back off one and hit him. I mean, the sound effects are not unique. Like That didn't sound like a, a centipede dying. That sounded more like a fucking ogre dying or something, but we'll leave it on for now. I may turn it off later. I'm not sure if it's adding anything to the game or not. Certainly, finding out the spell expired was useful, that sound effect. And it's nice to find, again, You want to compare if you want to compare with Moria, ain't no sound effects in Moria of any kind. Nor are there any round rooms or triangular. All rooms are square. Come here, you little bugger. So we know there's no... Whoa, we don't want to do that. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> I stepped on it even though I saw it. You set off the trapdoor, you fall through a trapdoor. So here we are on... Dungeon level 4. Maybe a little deeper than we want to be. Traditionally, according to my old Moria logic, we want to be character level 10 before we got here. But whatever. Let's try and find a way back up. We have a lot of money. We have 1143. Let's even start trying to get back to the surface. You hit the large yellow snake. It bites us more. 
don't know what that dinging sound was. You also saw the uh, the level feeling um, that it's not a terribly dangerous level for a level four. Those are relative, though, of course. Uh, if we suddenly found ourselves on you know dungeon level fifty and it said it's a you know a level a type one level feeling, we'd still be in a lot more danger than say a type nine level feeling on level one. Um, it does go to nine too. I did uh, determine that. Hey, new new potion. Let's bring that up and find out what it does. There's a fast way to level if we if we survive, taking on these more powerful monsters. We can deal with an apprentice. So when we do get up there, I mean, two of the a few of the priorities we want to get a pick, we want to get arrows, we want to get um, well some things identified. Potion of blindness. We can throw that at monsters if we need to. It may not seem like a big deal, by the way, that we're slow right now, but it is. It means those creatures are getting extra attacks. We're kind of brushing. We're not, like, reading every fucking sentence in terms of, you know, they hit you, they didn't hit you. Um, because right now, it's not. we're not in any real danger. Like, not in any terrible danger is a better way of putting it. Um, yeah, we, maybe we'll clear out this level if we can to get some money. Then when we go back to the surface, we'll have tons of money to get everything we want. Arrows, pick, instead of the shovel. Um... You can't incidentally buy a lantern. You have to find a lantern, it turns out, in this. You can certainly buy a lantern in, uh, in Moria. Kind of weird, but it might just be that lanterns are so obviously superior to torches. Like, why would anybody then buy a torch? A blue worm mass is a new monster for us. But we're taking it down very readily. You'll see when we fell through that trapdoor, we also took a little bit of uh, damage. A raven. B would be for bird. We've never killed one of these. We killed crows, but not birds. Or not, pardon me, ravens. Did we get that? I didn't even see. Control P brings this back up. No, it fled. And it's a lot faster than us. Holy shit. Well, that could be a problem. Let's go cautiously. It tried to cast a spell, but it failed. Let's just wait here a minute, see if any of them come at us. Whoa, Raven did. What is that noise? Welcome to level 8. Okay. We can learn a new prayer, but we're not going to until... Uh, let's do one right now. As a matter of fact, let's cast. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's pray. A. Let's try bless. Okay. Given we, uh, we're engaged in combat here, a lot of combat, it'd be a good time to be blessed, you know? It ran out. But it was fun while it lasted, wasn't it? What is this guy? He's not an, e he's not an evil eye. He's, or not a not floating eye, rather. He's a radiation eye. I seem to remember they do have some dangerous things about them. Let's kill it as quickly as we can. Fuck. The mushroom patch appears to have the uh, benefit of... Uh, oh, that, that apprentice cast blink and got out of here. Um... Let's cast this thing, too. Let's, uh, let's do a bunch of things. Let's G. Let's gain a new prayer. Call light. So now we could light up rooms, not to mention the fact that that would do damage to... Uh, let's take a look at it. Um, browse a book. Call light. Oops, we want to enter. Or not enter, a question mark. Lights up all squares in a level-dependent area and hurts all light-sensitive monsters in the area of effect. If you're in a room, the entire room will be lit up as well. Man, we are going to be rich as fu Oh, fuck, he's shooting us. The healer fires an arrow. He's a healer? Let's try our new spell. A. Call light. Can we? No, it costs uh, four mana. We only have three mana at the moment. We cannot do so. Here's a couple of these healers. What is this guy? A scout. We're definitely starting to feel the effects, man, of this uh, prolonged combat. Let's get this. A mithraplated wand. It's a gallant. It's a pretty tough foe. But we got him. All right, let's go somewhere and rest. Let's go right around this corner and rest until we're better. Oh, something touches us. And something invisible got us. 
Let's cast. Do we have we have scrolls? Let's read. Read a scroll of detect invisible. N. So there it is, a ghost of some sort. You sense the presence of invisible creatures. You have three scrolls of invis detect invisible left. It's to our north right now. Okay, it lasts for a little bit, and it, it's a, it got our uh, food. The green glutton ghost. So they grab food. I don't think we can get him as long as he's in the wall. Let's back off the wall. Oh, fuck. It doesn't last long, does it? To the northeast, I missed. I hit him. Kind of flailing about until we can get our... Uh... So stand in a... Well, I was going to say, so we know he can only come at us from one direction, but that's not how that works. Invisible creatures are going to be a real pain until we can get a weapon or something that lets us see them. Definitely going to be a danger. Let's continue. Oh, let's rest. All right. I think Glutton Ghost may have been may have been satiated because it seems to have left. A chartreuse potion. We don't have room. We have to drop something if we want to take this. What would that be? need to go back up to the surface to get rid of shit anyway. We can't just walk around unable to carry stuff, eh? There's something special about that torch. We don't want to get rid of it. It's got a weird... You see the double question mark on, uh, in slot T? You know what I think we're going to do? I hope we don't regret it. Uh, we're going to read a word of recall. No, I'm not trying to drop that. Let's pick that back up. Oops, I don't want to drop. I'm going to get... We're going to read a word of recall. Uh, so that uses the scroll. We have a new slot open now. Let's pick this up. Uh, it's going to take a little bit, but we will end up back on the surface uh, soon. We may not word of recall back into the dungeon, but we should probably still pick some up. All right, here we are. All right, let's figure what we're doing. Let's give away some stuff that we don't need. Whoa, village idiot. Scrawny cat. Filthy street urchin begs us for money. One of them misses us. That doesn't sound like an urchin. It sounds like an old man. All right. Incidentally, I also learned what unseen means. It's like an automatic inscription. What unseen means is that we haven't identified what color potion or type of scroll that is yet. I think purchasing it would still not reveal that to us. Um, it would just it would allow us to use... We'd still be able to use that scroll or potion, and we'd know what, it, what that exact scroll or potion does. But somehow we wouldn't link the fact that, say, it's glowing blue potion to the fact that other glowing blue potions would be the same. Kind of weird in a way, but what are you going to do? Let's sell, sell, quote unquote. Let's give. Let's give him some one muddy potion. Find out what that does. Yeah. It's a slime mold juice. It's a type of food. Not anything we really need right now. Let's sell a copper speckled potion. We only have one of them, but let's find out what it does. A potion of true seeing. Let's also find out literally what that does. By going down here and pressing uh, L for look. Examine which item? M. When quaffed, it cures blindness and extends C invisible for 50 plus 2d6 turns. That'd be all right, man. We, we need to collect those. We're not going to buy it back right now. I may come back and get one later. I don't know. Let's sell off. Uh, at least we know what they are now. Let's sell off a potion of chartreuse. -ness. Potion of Poison. So we could throw that at enemies to poison them, but we certainly don't want to uh, use it ourselves. He's not going to sell it. We have nothing else to identify here. Let's... We may, we may come back and get some words of recall. I'm not sure. But let's... Uh, next, let's, well, let's head over to the black market see what they're selling. He's got Potions of True Seeing here. A Rod of Curing. What does that do? Rods are like staves uh, from Moria or Wands, but they don't have a limited number of charges. Instead, you use them, and then they take a while to recharge. At least that's, that's what I recall it being. Let's look at F. Yeah, when activated, it cures blindness, cures wounds, cures poison, cures stunning, and cures confusion, but it takes 90 turns to recharge. That is pretty awesome. I don't know that we can afford it. <laughs> it's beyond our means right now, but it's pretty awesome. A wooden torch of brightness. I'll bet you that's what we have here. Let's look at this. L, J, just so I know what it does. Don't know what it does. That just lets you see further for a while. 
what's coming at us? A, a singing happy drunk. All right, let's leave him alone if we can. I don't want to be a town massacring guy. We want to give anything away here? No. Um, we may come back and pick up if... Well, we're not going to be able to afford it. I was going to say the metal scale mail would be nice. The metal scale mail would give us 38 armor. Uh, armor class. Um, but it would give us a minus 2 to hit. But there is like leather scale mail we could probably afford, which would give us 20 armor class. Actually, the le even the magic leather scale mail we can probably afford. Let's come back in a minute. Let's clear up some spots first. Let's like, go to our house and ditch a lot of shit. Let's drop all of our potions of blindness. Jay, they'll go in that pile. All. Asterisk for all. Let's drop all of our slime mold juice. We don't really need to worry about that right now. We may not ever need to worry about it. We may just give it away eventually. But it's kind of like food, but not as good. As far as I know, let's take a look at it if we can. L. A. Yeah, it gives you 500 turns worth of food. We really don't need it. Um, I mean, to be honest, we don't need most of this, but the, because we can't sell it, I mean, we, we definitely want we want the potions of speed, but I don't think we want them yet. I'm gonna drop a bunch of them. I'm gonna drop all of them for now. Those are awesome, but I think we're gonna need them more later. And right now, we get speed just by dropping shit. Let's drop A. Let's drop um two of them. We'll have one in backup in case something gets stolen. But at least we're not carrying around all the extra extra weight. Flasks of oil we can actually throw at monsters. You can light them and throw them as a bomb. So maybe we'll keep that for now. We certainly don't need 19 scrolls of phase door. Let's drop H. And let's drop um 10 of them. No, let's drop fucking 15 of them. We'll keep four on hand. We'll drop... We don't need this, the potions of the scrolls of blessing at all, but we might as well use them. Let's we'll bring them in and use them. We we'll keep the we'll keep the detect invisible. We we'll keep the keep all of this for now. The rest of it, I think. Uh, keep the potions of sleep in case we need to get out of somewhere fast. Let's drop D. Um, let's drop uh, eleven of them. We'll keep ten of them. Just bring up some weight. All right. Maybe we'll keep it at that for now. Maybe we won't even identify the the wand. We'll actually zap the wand at somebody and figure out what it does ourselves. So we don't have to buy it back. What are we looking at here? A battle-scarred veteran, which is asleep, and a squint-eyed rogue, which is asleep. The battle-scarred veteran probably doesn't pose a threat anymore. It would to a very low-level character. But uh, not, not likely to us. We need arrows. Let's purchase... Q. Buy how many? 40. Uh, yeah... All right, let's go back to our house and drop off all our fucking sling stones and shit. Let's go to ammo. Let's drop off our magical bolts, which we don't need. All. Whoops. Eventually, we're going to have to like stop dropping things in here because we're going to fill up our house, actually. You still only get like 23 slots in your house as well. So a lot of the shit we're dropping, we're later going to take and drop outside and just get rid of it, but whatever. Maybe I'll get rid of the other sling stones by just handing them off. We got the arrows. We want to pick. Let's uh, purchase N1. Yes, we want that. It does a little more damage if we forget and use it in combat. Let's sell him our shovel, or which means give him our shovel. Yeah, he can have it. Um, so we got that stuff we wanted. Just so I know what this is for sure. LR. Uh, it's for with a sling. We don't have a sling. Does he have a better weapon we want? I mean, we have a pretty nice magical dagger, right? This Tulwar is interesting in terms of the damage it does, but the magical dagger, if we can hit multiple well, spear of slay dragon, is pretty awesome. But we're not going to meet many dragons at a low level, are we? I mean, I don't know, a battle axe? Any any point in using that? Let's take a look at it. I would only get one blow per round. But I would do an average of 12 damage per round. 
It also can be used to clear rubble and shit. Dig through magma veins and quartz veins, but not granite. It can be destroyed by acid or fire. Let's take a look at our, our equipment. Um, hit enter on that. We're doing an average of 10.7 damage per round because of our multiple hits. So you know what? Let's just stick with this for now. It's almost as good as that thing, and it uh, doesn't cost us any money. Let's instead spend our money on armor. Right? Right. Battle Scarred Veteran, putting up a fight. We'll get no experience for killing him, but we can get uh, maybe some money. He didn't drop anything. Fuck him. All right, let's go here and buy better armor. I don't think we have a breastplate yet, do we? It's a nice fucking iron helm, too. Hmm. And the Gauntlets of Slaying. Gauntlets of Slaying would give us plus one to hit and plus one damage and nine more armor. Um, those might be nice to pick up. All right, let's take a look at what we actually have. Yeah, let's get the Gauntlets of Slaying for sure, and then see how much money we have left. Maybe we won't get a breastplate yet. Purchase you. Enter. Let's uh, equip. In the. Uh, no, we don't want to do that. Sorry. Oh, you want to wield. Wield a set of gauntlets. All right, let's give him our gloves. Sell our. Give our leather gloves. Um, What about that iron helm? 7 plus 5. We have the money for it, and. It won't, you know, if we get the leather scale mail, it's a minus one to hit. Whereas this would be pretty fucking awesome in its own right. I think we want to get this instead for now. Let's purchase Q. Sure. You know, I'm pressing W for this. All right, our armor class is up to 46. We have no hit penalties from that shit. Let's get rid of our, yeah, let's give him that. I pressed D there, by the way, instead of S, so like drop. It still counts as get. Um, do we have enough money left over to get... We do. Let's get some Word of Recalls. So we have that option on hand. 125. Let's buy as many of these as we can. Purchase. Why? Three. In case one gets broken. And you know what? Do we want to use one? Yeah, what the fuck? Let's just read one. Let's read a Word of Recall. Okay, and we'll go right back down to the dungeon. It'll bring us... Uh, it, when you use it in the... Oh, yeah, we are slow, though. Slower than we were. Or well, not slower than we were. As slow as we were from the extra weight of the armor and shit. When you use um, a word of recall in the town, it brings you back to the lowest dungeon level you've been on. Uh, when you use it in the dungeon, it brings you back to the town after a short delay. We're right about, actually, now that I look at it, we're right about uh, the half hour mark. So I'm going to save it here. Let's do that now. And then uh, I may or may not record another video tonight. I don't know. We'll see how, what my wife's up to, what she feels like doing. If she wants to hang out and do something, I'll do something with her. If not, uh, if she's enjoying playing Xbox or something, then I'll come back and do this. Let's uh, exit. Saving game done. Okay, there we are. Sir Gorston, the half-elf paladin, level 8. Um, I'm going to talk to you guys soon, and I, like I said, I may or may, may, or may not be back tonight. All right. Peace out.